Hi, I'm here to talk to you about DSC 395T, data structures and algorithms. Who am I? My name is Calvin Lin. I'm a professor in the computer science department, and I've been teaching a popular honors version of this course for almost 20 years now. Why should you take this course? We've introduced this course because too many of our online master students were struggling, either in the algorithms course or in the other courses with programming components. So in other words, we've designed this course precisely to help you succeed in our online master's program. You should get three things from this course. First, you develop your programming skills. Second, you'll learn about data structures and algorithms, which are fundamental topics to the field of computer science and by extension to various aspects of data science. And third, you'll develop critical thinking and problem solving skills, which of course are not just helpful in courses, but also in life in general. What are the lectures like? Well, we've created a little sample, so please take a look for yourself. Uh, the intuition is that we might have to look further up. But in fact, if you think about this, <clears throat> K2 was a node that was imbalanced. We've just fixed it, so now it's not, not only balanced, but it's, you know, in some ways, perfectly balanced. They all have the exact same height, okay? If at this point there were, was another imbalance higher up, let's assume there was, then this means that before we did the insertion, we would have the same situation where the subtree rooted at K1, or K2 in this case, was, uh, was balanced. And that would mean that that would violate our assumption that we started with a legal ADL tree. So in fact, even though it's counterintuitive, you only have to go up one level and then you're done. Okay? What's the workload? There will be approximately six programming assignments and approximately two exams. I would say that the workload is moderate, but to be honest, some of you will find it to be light, while others will find it to be heavy, because the amount of time that you spend in this course will depend greatly on your productivity as a programmer, which of course is a skill that you will enhance and refine as the semester goes on. The bottom line is that this is going to be a great course. It'll be fun, it'll be engaging, and super useful. So I hope to see you in my class, and I thank you for listening.